Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I was just informed I'm an hour early, which is okay. I guess I'm anxious to talk to you. Well, I'm from Western New York too. I forgot to say that before I forget before I go on too far. I was actually this morning in the topic that I wanted to talk about came up. We were watching television because we always watch the Sunday morning. Sunday morning show on CBS. Show, yeah. We always watch that. And the advertisement came on, and the, it was for cars. And I said, notice what the girl's wearing and what is around the color that they use. That's my topic, color. <laughs> I was, um, and if you notice, the car ads use red. Why do they use red? Red is the color I like, too. <laughs> Red is actually a power color, and it's one of the colors that you remember. It's it's out there, but it's not overbearing. It's apparently it's a nice color. It's a good color. I was trying very hard to write all this down, and I thought, well, mm, so I might have to look down a little bit to just refresh my own memory because you know, like I was telling. Oh gosh. His name is not Wayne. Matt. <laughs> he he looks like a Wayne to me. He mm. does. Well, I was telling Matt I have an old brain, so, you know, I need a little help. I need a little bit of this. And what the topic today is color. And the color, like, what color do you like? Hmm. I wonder. I, I like red. Used to be, used to be light blue. What color do you like? Hmm. I like blue and red, both. Blue and red. Did you know red is a hot color? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys well, like red, they were saying. The gold wing is red. Oh, yes. And my nomad is black and red. Those uh, Black is actually a color that would be for, like, businessmen. It shows that they have power. What they say is you should go into an interview wearing a black or blue, dark blue suit for your first time around and brown for your second time around. And the reason they say a dark brown for the second time is it shows that you're willing to learn. Whereas the um, dark colors first shows a lot of confidence. And you could wear a red tie, I suppose. And then it shows you've got really power. And then go in with a blue tie and shows that you're sensitive and compassionate. And it's what did I say it was earlier? I forgot what I said blue was. <laughs> I don't it's, remember. It was, it's, um, oh, it's the intimacy color. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I said. Okay. Um, red is a power color. Blue is intimacy. White means peace. And yellow means you want a fun color. Fun, yellow, though, if it's a pale yellow, it could be depression, anxiety. Pale is not so good, but pale is good for sleep. If you wanna, if you wanna sleep, I'm all over the place with this. So a lot of good, my a lot of good, my papers are doing. Let's see, where was I with what about the sleep? Real it, bright yellow. Bright yellow is happy sunshine. It brings you hope. That's the bright yellow. Yellow is happiness. The ugliest color. Do you wanna know what the ugliest color is? It's supposed to be gray. Gray is supposed to be ugly. On brown. I wore brown yesterday. That's not a pretty color on me at all. But I wanted to wear brown because I had brown pants on, so I wore a brown shirt. So I was all brown except for my socks were black. There's my power color. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And my and I wore my holy shoes because you have to wear holy shoes if you want to be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the ugliest color is dark brown and gray, and it's supposed to represent death. Dirty and tar. So those you don't want to wear those colors. Those are not good colors. And for sleep, the best colors for your bedrooms, we used to always think that just blue was the only light blue would be the relaxing, supposed to be calming color. But apparently you can have blue, a light yellow, a light green. You can even have silver and orange. I wouldn't want an orange bedroom. Well maybe I would if it was real pastel. Real pastel. And pink. Pink is a is a color that you could have. Weakness. What color is weakness? 
Well, the pinks are considered weakness, but it's also a feminine color. Pink is considered a feminine color, and if you want to look young, you wear pink. It's a youthful color. The prettiest hair color, do you want to know what the prettiest hair color is? According to the studies that have been done, I don't know what the studies were because I didn't write that down, but there was the the color that peep, that got the top rating. Can you guess? Uh, gray. Gray? No, gray doesn't get it. I'm sorry, gray wasn't even in it. No, darn it all. <sighs> no, but dark brown was. Brown hair is the highest. Then, an, a, a dark hair and dark black hair. Black hair was considered high. Then it was blondes, and then it was the redheads. Poor redheads. They, they're the bottom of the barrel. I still think gray is the top. Well, that's only because I've gone gray. <laughs> I used to have dark brown, so maybe I was, um, the, I was number one color. I did have dark brown, and when I was pregnant, my hair used to look really dark. In fact, people used to think I colored it, but I didn't. My hair was just darker when I was pregnant for some reason. The hormones made it dark, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, looking younger, you start you would, you would wear reds, pinks, and purples. I don't wear any purple, hardly ever. I don't even, well, I have one, I used to have one purple shirt that I used to wear. I might have given it to Emily, but I may still have a purple shirt in there. And orange is another color. I have a car that's orange, but what does orange mean? Orange means um, strength, witty. <laughs> Must be, I'm witty and strength, strong, yep. witty. Generous, optimistic, eager, and bold. Oh, I guess I am. Oh, bold, all yes. those, all those <laughs> things. I'm bold and bold, but I'm not brassy, <laughs> as my mother would say. To be bold and brassy is not a good thing. Don't be bold and don't be brassy at the same time. Orange has energy. You like to bounce around. I do do yeah. that. I guess orange was a good color for me then. Uh -huh. Did you tell me what color you liked? I hope you did. I'm curious as to what color you like and what, and if you remember what it means, put the meaning in there too. Then I'll, I'll just kind of know without having to look it up myself. <laughs> so, yep. we'll talk to you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.